Swap deals, a rare yet efficient method of trading players between clubs that you don't really see too often nowadays in the current football market climate. However, there have been a couple of famous player trades over the years, such as the likes of the Alexis Sanchez and Henrik Mkhitaryan deal, and we all know how that one turned out, don't we Alexis? Also, the Benucci for Higuain and Caldara deal, and of course, Samuel Eto for Ibrahimovic, just to name a few. So in today's video, we're going to be undergoing a challenge where our only option in terms of transferring players is through swap deals offering players to other clubs and seeing what players they are willing to swap with us. And our first contender for the swap deal only career mode challenge is the mighty Barcelona. However, before the Catalonian giants go through the swap deal challenge, here are all the rules and objectives. So the number one rule in the challenge are pretty plain and simple, pretty self-explanatory. We can only sign players through swap deals, player for player in the transfer window. Number two, we can also do a player plus cash deal if necessary. Number three, the main objectives in the challenge is to win the league, a Spanish Cup and the Champions League with as many swap deal players in the starting 11 as possible. And number four, we have a two season time limit to complete the challenge. Let's get straight into it. So let me know what you guys think of the rules down below. It's a new series making its debut to the channel. So we're going to be looking to polish it up once FIFA 20 rolls along. So it might be a disaster waiting to happen or a miracle job here at Barca. We're going to have to find out. It's going to be interesting to see what players we're going to have to sacrifice in order to bring in new players into the club and how successful we're going to be with this 264.5 million pound transfer budget. We've also updated the latest transfers in the team with Antoine Griezmann now joining the squad over from Atletico Madrid, their big summer signing for Barcelona. We also have Mr. Frankie de Jong, the Dutch midfielder, will be joining us in the side, as well as the Brazilian shot stopper Neto, and that means Silicon went the other way, as well as the Spanish left back Firpo joining over from Real Betis. So D Decent summer additions for Barcelona. I didn't bother sending Coutinho out to Bayern because his move is only a loan deal and it's not permanent. So we've decided to keep him in the squad as well as Malcolm, who's moved to Zenit St. Petersburg in real life, but they aren't even in the game. So both those players can become swap deal fodder for us in the transfer window. So we're going to probably use them in exchange for a few players. Use them as little pieces in transfer deals in order to get some players here at Barcelona and to try to do as many swap deals as possible here. So that is going to be the starting lineup going into season one it's most likely going to change with a lot of swaps a lot of deals coming through we're going to get straight into the transfer window if you do go ahead and enjoy the video make sure to give it a like down below hit that big red subscribe button down below too for more fifa karimo content coming to the channel thick and fast hit that notification bell so you stay notified follow me on twitter all that good stuff so let's see what business mr swap can achieve here with the catalonian giants all right so here are our first batch of swap deals we've been able to conjure up here at barcelona of course we had to go for the man that has been linked to them all summer long, Neymar from PSG. We've had to sacrifice. This is the sacrifice we've had to make for him. The Brazilian winger is in exchange for Luis Suarez and 80 million pounds. So it's a big deal. It's a big sacrifice. MSN will not be reuniting. We'll see how that one goes through. We also have KDB, the big Belgian, is going to be in exchange for... For Ivan Rakitic and 72.3 million pounds and I know swap deals are absolutely broken in this game it's gonna be it just adds an extra difficulty factor into it because these swap deals as soon as you offer up a player man you know the other team wants so much money and it's it's not even funny it doesn't even make sense so I guess that's how it makes this challenge a bit harder. We have Joshua Kimmich from Bayern Munich. We have in exchange for him. Jordi Alba, the left back, the Spaniard, will be off to Bayern Munich. will delegate his contract as well. Getting a bit of fresh blood at the back. And the last big transfer from this batch, it's going to be Gerard Piquet in exchange for £42 million. He might be on the move to Napoli here as we go after the African centre-back. Pretty much one of the best centre-backs in the world right now. Probably the best centre-back in Serie A. We're going to go after Kalidou Koulibaly. Crazy money being flown flown about everywhere and we'll see if that one goes through. This Barca squad is going to have a major, major makeover by the end of this swap deal window. It's going to be insane. So the first swap deal to go through for this Barcelona swap deal challenge is the Senegalese centre-back Khalidou Koulibaly. He's on his way to the Camp Nou and it's our first successful transfer of the video. £42 million pounds plus Gerard Piquet. The Spanish centre-back is off to Napoli. However, swap deals are broken. If you guys seen a lot of my rebuild challenges, we love a cheeky swap deal on the channel. It just doesn't 
show the little cutscene when you do a transfer. It just shows, you know, just random pictures. So in order to prove that it was indeed a swap deal, there you go, 42 mil plus Gerard Piquet. I believe that's a solid investment. He's just a brilliant center back in general. Is going to help develop the squad. It's going to be the main man at the back alongside Umtiti. I really hope so, but I just know that it's not going to be improved in FIFA 20. Just swap deals in general, how they're just so overpowered for the CPU and they just offer up so much money. But as I say that, we secure our second side of the video. It's going to be another defensive signing. It's the right back, Joshua Kimmich. He is off to Barcelona. Yet another trade deal successfully negotiated. And you can see there in the description, doesn't even say that we've done a little swap deal. It just says for 58.8 million, which is an absolute lie. Because if we go over to the transfer history, you guys will probably know this by now. You can see that it's an actual swap deal. There you go. 25.3 million pounds plus Jordi Alba. He's off to Bayern Munich. Joshua Kimmich is making the big swap. Just proves how challenging swap deals can be in this game mode. But the German right back, the next Philipp Lahm, is coming to the transfer offer challenge. Well, you can excuse my venting about the broken swap deals in FIFA career mode right now because we've just brought back the Brazilian Neymar, which they sold to PSG. Now it's been rumored back to the club all summer long. And we finally locked down a deal for him. We exchanged Luis Suarez plus 70 million for him. And there he is in all his glory. The 26-year-old is going to be coming back to the Camp Nou and linking up with Lionel Messi. Unfortunately for Suarez, he's going the other way. But it's a big transfer in. Probably the biggest transfer we're going to make this whole window. But there we go. There's the proof that it was indeed a swap deal. It was actually 80 million pounds at the end of the day. We spent so much money on this plus Luis Suarez. It's a lot of money for Neymar, but I think it will be worth it in the end. Like I said, we're going to have to sacrifice a lot and a sacrifice all we have as we've given up Ivan Rakitic the World Cup finalist the Croatian midfielder is off to Manchester City and Kevin De Bruyne one of Belgium's best players right now is coming the other way to Barcelona what a signing there he's going to be a brilliant star in the midfield and is a big improvement upon Ivan Rakitic I'm happy we could get him out of the club as well he was an aging player and you can see there 113.3 million pounds he raised some eyebrows around the country but as a fact it was indeed a swap deal and as you can see there 72 2.3 million plus Ivan Rakitic is going to be the price we've paid for Kevin De Bruyne. And as you can see, that transfer has left us with about 55 million pounds left in the bank. We'll see if we can pull off one more decent signing, but we've brought in about, what, four players now. We're already draining the transfer budget dramatically here. We're changing the whole look of Barcelona at the moment. So it's official. The transfer budget is drained for now as we bring in a really, really big upgrade to the goalkeeper position. We've given up Marc-Andre Tostergen, our big German goalkeeper in the middle of the sticks. And we brought in the Slovakian Jano Black. We're greeted again with another non cut scene, but it's pretty much the best goalkeeper you can pick up in the game. And it's another massive swap deal we've completed here. We'll check the official fee for it as we've swapped 50 million pounds plus Mark Andre to Stegen. We've weakened our main rivals in Atletico Madrid, but also strengthened them as well by giving them to Stegen. So it's kind of a win win lose lose situation. Nevertheless, welcome to the club, Jano Black. So, in terms of the first summer transfer here in the swap deal challenge, that is going to be at the end of it. We've only made five deals possible. 269.6 million pounds worth of players coming in. As you can see, we've made zero profit whatsoever by swapping all of our players. We haven't sold anyone because literally we need players to get players. So we can only trade players. We're not gaining any players throughout this whole process. It's a complicated, complex process because we need players to sacrifice players in a sense. If you understand what I'm trying to say, but we got five swap deal players in the starting 11. I believe they were all upgrades in my opinion. We'll see what we can do in January if we're able to pull off any deals because all those deals literally drained our transfer budget. We only have 22 million and in terms of swap deals, that isn't much. We're going to simulate to January. We'll see if we can do any business. If not, we'll sim it to the end of the season and see how we go in season one of the swap deal only challenge. So January has arrived and despite my negativity before it began, we've pulled off some juicy swap deal business here. We have pulled Marco Verratti in at the Camp Nou. The Italian midfielder, don't read the text there, has not come for 25 million pounds. In fact, he has come over for a player plus cash swap deal and PSG have accepted a 25.55 million pound bid plus Arthur, the Brazilian midfielder. I know you might be thinking, Arthur, he's a great player. The Brazilians got bags of potential, but we need players for the now. We need a player like Marco Verratti who just instantly brings quality to the side and will be a starter for us 100%. We can't be having lower rated players in our squad. We need to get quality in the short term. It's only a two-season
season challenge. I think he's a great reinforcement to bring into the squad. So Marco Verratti, welcome to the Swap Deal team. We're working with what we got. We're working with our small budget because pretty much we got nothing left after this. We'll see what we can achieve with as many Swap Deal players as possible. Season 2 is going to go off. But let's see what trophies we can win with the Swap Deal team. Mr. Swap is on a mission. Let's see what he can do. So at the end of Season 1, the Swap Deal boys have fell short from the league title in La Liga. It is Atletico Madrid taking out the title by 11 points. They finish on top with 83. We are coming in second with 72. Real Madrid and Real Sociedad finish off the top four, but it's a disappointing season in the end. Just way too many losses. We need to be turning those losses into draws or wins. It's just unacceptable from a Barcelona point of view. Atletico Madrid to Stegen, our ex-boy, gets a title over us. A very disappointing stuff. We'll check the Supercopa. We ended up winning the Supercopa, which is like the preseason community shield. It's, it's not really too much of a big deal against Sevilla. 3-2 on aggregate, so we'll move over to the Copa de España. Let's take a look at that, and there we go. There is a piece of silverware in the bag for season number one. Real Valladolid in the final could not deal with us, and we win 3-1 to win the Copa de España. And that is a Spanish title ticked off the list. That is one trophy down, two to go. We'll check how we did in the Champions League and see if we can get even more silverware. It looks like we have the opportunity to, with our league rivals who ended up winning the league, Atletico Madrid, our ex boy to stay is going to take us on in the Champions League final. We're going to go ahead and simulate this one, but it's chance for continental glory and it will leave just La Liga to win next season. If we win this tonight, a lot of pressure could be alleviated off us Come into season two. Once we go into season two, it's a dangerous squad going into this game. Can Atletico Madrid deal with it? They've got a great defense, we all know, but can they deal with the likes of Neymar, Griezmann and Messi? That is a different kettle of fish, my friends. Let's see how we do in this. I mean, they were the league champions. To stay good, no, Kimmich gets a red card, 33 minutes. Oh, this is going to be one hell of a second half, but... That is not the way you want to start a Champions League final. Rodri gets the goal, but Umtiti with the big equaliser. The Frenchman comes in clutch, and Coutinho comes on for Kevin De Bruyne. We're going to go into extra time. This is crazy stuff. Koke gets the second. That should do it. No, Messi gets the equaliser. Lionel gets it in the 115th minute, and on penalties... We win the Champions League when I thought all hope was lost for the swap deal, lads. Kimmich got a red card and nearly spoiled the party, but Umtiti and Messi get two equalizers, and we end up clutching it on penalties. The swap deal, lads, get the victory over La Liga champions, Atletico Madrid. What a night out. So here are our star performers who delivered us cup success. Not so much league success, but we did do our jobs in our Spanish Cup and Continental Cup. The Champions League, two big trophies ticked off the list as we have the front three, the lethal front Free Griezmann with 36 goals and 9 assists. Lionel Messi, 33 goals and 10 assists. Not going down any overalls whatsoever, which is good to see. Neymar with 14 goals and 4 assists. Kevin De Bruyne, two big swap deal players that we brought in at the start of the season with 14 goals and 7 assists there. Philippe Coutinho with 9 goals and 9. Joshua Kimmich getting 4 goals and 3. And there we have Marco Verratti, 1 goal and 7 assists for him. So a bit of a decent season. Frankie De Jong with 3 assists. And it's Jan Oblak getting 46 periods in net so it, it's a pretty decent season we brought in a lot of swap deal players they've managed to gel into the squad and get used to life here in Barcelona quite easily here but now it's all eyes on season two We've got the league in our sights now we just got to go out and do it and we're gonna attempt to turn this squad into a whole team of swap deal players let's get into our second season all right so season two has arrived and take a look at that transfer budget 288.2 million or we have cash to splash this season but we all know with swap deals it doesn't mean all too much because we always need an extra bit of cash with us so we'll see what we can pull off with that amount of money nearly 300 million pounds there we got I've got a few deals in mind, so let's see how we can rejuvenate and even upgrade this squad going into our second and final season. This summer transfer window is going to be absolutely mental. So we've got a few deals in the pipeline. They're in their early stages. We'll take a glance at them. we got Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian king. And we've gone ahead and offered Malcolm, the right winger, who was just sitting on the bench, wasn't doing much for us, and is not going to contribute much. I know he has high potential, but we're replacing him with 
quality. 60.6 million plus Malcolm going the other way to Liverpool for an 89 rated Mohamed Salah who can get even better. I think that is a great, great deal. In terms of these swap deals, that could be a bargain as well as this man, Virgil van Dijk. The two Liverpool boys, we're poaching two of Liverpool's best players. We're weakening a European rival and I'm sure he can help us to the league title this season. And as you can see, we offered up Clement Langley, the Frenchman. We're getting instant quality straight away in a 90 rated Virgil van Dijk for only 46.8 million. They're still in development here. We'll see if we can get these ones over the line, but they're going to be two massive pickups. And there you have it. The Egyptian king makes his way over to Barcelona. Mr. Swap has got his man and he's going to be a lethal attacker for us this season. The 27 year old arriving from Liverpool. Malcolm going the other way. He's going to be an absolute beast for us. And you can see there the description 97.1 million. And yet again, the news system and the swap deals are just in two completely different worlds. They got no idea what's going on. They're reporting fake news over here, boys. And Operation Liverpool was in fact successful. The Dutchman, the big Dutchman at the back, Virgil van Dijk is making his way over to Camp Nou as well. He's joining Mr. Swap Deal in our quest towards the La Liga title and he'll definitely be a starter at the back alongside maybe Koulibaly. Umtiti might have to sit out this season, but when you have quality players like Van Dijk in your side, he can overthrow anyone in that centre-back position. One of the world's best, 90 overall, and he's just 10 times better than Langlet right now. We still have £180 million to play with in this window and just to confirm that those deals were in fact swap deals, there you go. We're not cheating here boys we're doing things correctly it's just a new system reporting the fake news but those are the two swap deals confirmed let's continue on and pull off some even more amazing swap deals so yet again we've been really and dealing away at some big swap deals on the cards and as you can see here we are going for a bit of a tactical move we're going for a bit of a strategical play here we all know Atletico Madrid our main rivals this season beat us to the title last season we're weakening them by bringing in an actual position that we need strengthening in the squad it is going to be the Frenchman Lucas Hernandez and we've gone ahead and exchanged him for Sergio Roberto plus 32.5 million pounds. We might as well offer him up and there we go. Lucas Hernandez he's part of the squad. World Cup winner the Frenchman is going to join us here at the Swap Deal Challenge as well as another Frenchman another World Cup winner. It is the one and only Paul Pogba. He's wanted out of Manchester United for a while now. However we have offered up the aging Sergio Busquets Spanish central defensive midfielder. He's getting on quite a bit. We need some youth in that position. We might as well bring in big Paul Pogba the 26 year old. We all know how good he is on career mode. There you go. The two French World Cup winners join us here at the Swap Deal Challenge. And yet again, the media are at a reporting fake news over here. This is just... This has got to be fixed going into FIFA 20, but I don't... I just know it won't be. They do not even know what's going on. They think we're paying premium price for these players. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, we're pulling off some cheeky swap deals, and Mr. Swap isn't getting any recognition for it from the media. This is just absolute blasphemy, and it needs to be fixed. And we've just about blowed all the transfer budget on one man and one man only you know him 20 years of age it's Kylian Mbappe the media doing us dirty they're reporting 143.5 million it definitely wasn't that but we'll take a look at him now 90 overall one of the world's best right now two seasons into career mode he's joining us here at Barca and there you go cost a pretty penny though 90 million pounds plus the other Frenchman Usman Dembele we all knew he was going to cost an absolute arm and a leg but we've pulled the deal off at the end of the day and Mr. Swap gets his marquee man so we're a day away from our second season beginning our opening matchup against the champions Atletico and both our starting main marquee center backs are injured a three-month injury for Van Dijk and a four-month injury for Koulibaly it's absolute crisis mode at the back here for Barcelona so we've had to go in for an emergency pickup here we've had to sacrifice a player that has left in real life Philippe Coutinho the left winger should be off to Inter Milan in Serie A where he started his career actually or where he was before for the 24 year old Milan Skriniar we all know how much of a beast he is on career mode this year and he's going to be our emergency pickup right here I mean he's still a very solid signing we've had to get some reinforcement because we can't start off the season with both our main center backs injured and desperate times do indeed call for desperate measures Milan Skriniar is our last minute center back reinforcement here in season two the 24 year old is coming to Barcelona once you get the call to come to the camp new no, you can't turn it down and the Slovakian has indeed packed his bags and made his way over to Mr. Swap Deal's team. And that is going to conclude our Season 2 Summer Transfer business. A whopping £310.4 million, beating out Season 1 spending, and of course a profit of £0. It's an absolutely foolish financial plan here we've got going at Barcelona. I'm sure the board are more than happy with uh, the transfers we've been pulling off here. Zero profit is exactly what you want to see. So much so, that Mr. Swap is 
in high demand. The media finally reporting something right for once. What a change. But that is the squad going into season two. We've got a lot of depth. I know you can see Messi and Griezmann on the bench. But if we put it together, that is our pretty much our entire swap deal team. We've swapped every single player out of their positions for a new player, except Umtiti, because, you know, we've only gone and picked up two major, major injuries there at the back, but they should be coming back in no, in no time. As you know, 15 million pounds isn't too much to deal with in this transfer window, in this, you know, swap deal challenge. So see if we can pull off any deals in January. If we can't, we'll simulate to the end of the season and see how Mr. Swap's lads get on in the season. That's probably our strongest starting 11. With Messi, it's the swap deal 11 going into the second half of season two. The boys are looking better than ever. Let's see if we can complete the challenge and get this challenge done and dusted here in Catalonia. And as promised, it was a walk in the park in La Liga Santander. Barcelona retained their title in the league and the swap deal challenge prevail at the end of the day. We win by getting 89 points on the board, 77 Real Madrid behind us and the third place team of the champions of last season, Atletico Madrid, the team which we were aiming to dethrone and were successful in doing that. Valencia finish off the top four and it's a league domination. We take a look at the Supercopa. We face Atletico Madrid. We beat them 2-0, so it's another piece of Spanish silverware. Then we move on to the Copa del Rey. However, it's Atletico Madrid winning that one 3-0 against Real Betis. And it looks like we got knocked out to the eventual champions of the competition, Atletico Madrid, 3-2 in aggregate rather early in the season. But we won the trophy, which we needed to win the league. So it doesn't really matter about the Copa del Rey. We'll move on to the Champions League, though, and see how we got on. We ended up winning it on penalties 5-4. So it's La Liga and the Champions League in our grasp after a 1-1 draw against Manchester City we prevail through penalties what a season it was from the lads we'll take a look and see who our star performers were what a side we've built here with the swap deals proving that if you have the right players if you have the right mentality these swap deals can be well worth it as you can see here Lionel Messi you stayed throughout the course of these two seasons gone down to a 91 overall however 27 goals and 13 assists 40 goal contributions from the lad you can't expect anything less from the best in the world Kylian Mbappe a big swap deal signing getting 26 goals and three assists in his debut season. Neymar Jr. has had a, a happy return to Barcelona with 22 goals and eight assists. Paul Pogba's debut in Catalonia has gotten him 14 assists and nine goals. Mohamed Salah, you'd expect a bit more from the Egyptian, but I assume he came off the bench most of the time and didn't really get a starting position in the squad. Frankie de Jong doing quite well. KDB, the 28-year-old with four goals and eight assists, you'd kind of expect him to do a bit better too. Alenia getting a bit of game time there as we scroll down. Griezmann, only two goals and one assist, only 13 games. He mustn't be happy with himself with that type of season. And Koulibaly, we all know, had a five-month injury, which just completely ruled him out as well as Virgil van Dijk. He had a big four-month injury too. Oblak ended up getting 28 clean sheets, which is good in 59 games. And that is going to be the swap deal challenge. We end up completing it in two seasons. It might have been a bit easy here at Barcelona, considering the type and caliber of player that we have on our hands to swap and offer up other opposition but that is going to be at the end of the video the swap deal only challenge we've completed it mate what a side we build here with barcelona let me know how to improve the challenge what new rules and what adjustments we should do to alter the challenge make it harder or just make it even better in the future make sure to leave a like down below if you did go on to enjoy the video hit that big red subscribe button if you want some more fifa career mode content fifa 20 content coming in the new near future we're literally one month away right now hit that that notification bell so you never miss out on a video when it gets uploaded to the channel follow me on twitter the link is in the description i've been bchd that has been mr swap i hope you did enjoy the video and i'll catch you on the very next video